very excited about having a chance to, you know, to win on senior night. Obviously honoring um, Cade and Darius and Tyler. Um, senior nights are special, and I certainly remember mine. And and um, it's always makes it even more memorable when you can win. And um, so just really proud of the team. It was a really hard fought basketball game. Um, we had to earn it. And we had some really good moments uh, in the game, both offensively and defensively. Uh, but CMO battled, and they, they were, um, you know, competitive in the game too. So I, the game could have gone either way. And I thought that, uh, you know, for one of the times this year, we were the tougher basketball team um, under four minutes. And um, I told the team, I thought this was a total team win. I thought everybody had a chance to uh, contribute. Um, certain plays and and that's kind of way it's got to be this time of year uh, sometimes these conference wins feel like two and um, but just proud of the growth that we made here uh, I think this is the first time for us to be able to win a game on Thursday win a game on Saturday uh, it's not easy to do and um, that's our that's our the way it is for our conference schedule so we need to get used to that and continue pushing the standard of competitiveness that we need to play to to help us to um, kind of get these results and where it becomes the standard. It's expected. Uh, but couldn't be more proud of the guys and for being able to win these two basketball games and then obviously to win on the senior night is it's always awesome. So I'm very, very happy about that. Questions? Uh, Coach, uh, late in the game, there was a play, I think uh, you had just got a defensive rebound, Schenger threw a full court baseball pass and for a layup. I saw you kind of stare at him for a second, maybe just say some stuff internally, and then because uh, I mean you scored on the play. So, but what was your thought process on that play, and just uh, uh, yeah, I guess why why were why was the the long look? Well, Junior's always uh, we want him to be in an aggressive attacking mode, and uh, at the end of the day, you know decisions and choices for all of us are really important in all walks of life, and especially for a point guard, especially for a leader of the basketball team. Um, I had no problem with him throwing the ball down the court, um, but I think he threw it from his his waistband, and the guy touched the ball, and uh, you know you, you got you got to that would have been a, uh, obviously a not so good play had he given it back to them and he got it, but uh, maybe it was our night, and uh, so uh, yeah, it was a moment there that I maybe I was overreacted a little bit, but his smile just melted my heart, so it all it all turned out great. How do you? kind of balance the good and the bad? I mean, like knowing that Drew is such a, a talented player and knowing that he's capable of making those plays with, you know, it may not have been the best timing or whatever, but it obviously worked out for him. You, well, you know, I think for me, I've had to grow, learn and grow as well with this basketball team. I think early in the year, you know, I uh, had to become a better leader from this standpoint. You know, for, I've been certainly blessed as a player and blessed as a coach uh, to be in situations that were always sharpening the spear, never really go back to day one, week one, right? And coming here, we are day one, week one. Uh, so for some of the guys, and especially him, um, I think with our relationship, because our relationship started really early when I got here, because he was one of the guys who was on the basketball team. And um, uh, because he's had success, because he is good, because he's competitive, he's really smart. Uh, sometimes early on this season, um, I think I was getting ahead of myself and uh, wanting him to be, you know, just really good or perfect all the time, and, and none of us were ready for that. Uh, so I think I was able to make some adjustments and obviously continue to communicate, continue to teach. Um, but these guys are they're learning and growing. We don't like to make it about results, um, but we, we do talk about those things. But uh, knowing what your job is in that moment, you know, and. Uh, giving great effort uh, with mental and physical toughness, do it to completion, keep a great attitude and, and phenomenal body language, take ownership, right? And um, the one thing he does is he's, he allows me to coach him. And I really appreciate that. That builds a lot of trust. That creates value in him as a player, and it creates a lot of trust for myself and the coaching staff. He's already got it amongst the team. When you're a good player, the team respects you. The way he treats those guys, there's not one guy on our basketball team that if he needed something, wouldn't be the first one. He's got a unk. He has a relationship with everybody in our program. Uh, so I think for me, sometimes, especially this year, I've had to watch myself and learn and grow because 
uh, we're not ready to do some of those. We're not ready to go be perfect yet. And and so for me, I need to kind of let that go sometimes or look the other way or just explain the fundamental of what might have worked better there. But uh, he's done a really good job of learning and growing with that. Great game inside in the paint, and Amadi was a huge part of that. What we what was the game plan on the inside tonight? Well, Dura is very much an inside basketball team um, offensively. And... Um, you know, we needed to be really competitive up the front, to be physical, hard-nosed and nasty without fouling. Um, I think they outplayed us a little bit up there, even though Garrett had an unbelievable game on offense. Um, they were effective against us, and not so much them getting the ball, but if you remember up there, they were creating all this attention on the little post and skipping the ball a lot for hard drives or three-point shots. And I thought tonight we were much better at that. Um, but Amadou has put back-to-back -back games this week himself in terms of performance uh, and his ability to focus that, you know, he's a, it's a real asset. Uh, when we can get a, a points and rebounds um, from his position, you know, whether it's him, whether it's Larry, whether it's Reese, whether it's Garrett, um, that is, that's a great boost to your team. Tonight I think we have five guys in double figures. Uh, that makes us. That gives us great balance. Um, it makes it really challenging on the defense. They can no longer just focus on Junior. Uh, they can no longer just focus on Hunter and Cade. Uh, <clears throat> but when they do that, I thought Amadou did a really good job tonight of catching the basketball, making some plays around the basket, um, and then he's been really good this week, just getting a second chance opportunities. We talk a lot about offensive rebounds are always a killer to the losing team. And um, he, he did, he's done a really good job Thursday and Saturday with this. So um, it is a team game. We need everybody. Um, and I thought offensively Thursday and Saturday, um, we got balance. We have balance, and that's good. That's really good. I'm going to do the game two weeks ago in Cape Girardeau. How much did that fire you up? Just remembering how close that game was and how, I mean, how important it is at this, at this point in the season in the standings. Uh, <clears throat> today was a big, uh, big game. Senior night. Uh, these seniors have, these three guys have impacted us like in a lot of way with their leadership, caring, and loving their teammates. Uh, so when we were tying the game, I was thinking about those guys. You know, I was like giving everything I got for those guys because I know like it's it's really a big, big game for them. Junior now, where you guys are in the standings and, and, and having good opportunity to make the conference tournament. What, what's the team mindset right now? Um, the mindset, I think, especially with this win tonight, we're just positive. We won four out of the last five games. And, I mean, like Coach always tells us, this isn't an overnight thing. We've been working on this since he first got here in April with us. So we've just been putting it together. Uh, but I think the mindset of the team, we're just excited. Uh, we're going to stick to what we do and keep doing it and getting this conference and uh, this tournament, anything can happen in the tournament. So we're excited. Like I said, with their leadership, caring and loving for the teammates, we're really going to miss this guy. These guys really are a good guy. So today was a big, big win for them. But we still have a lot, long way to go. Uh, I would say the same thing. Uh, the seniors, they, they uh, coach gave all three of them specific roles this year. And they, uh, they did their role, and they're still doing their role. And I uh, love them for that. We're going to miss them. So this night was special. I'm glad we get the win for them. You know, two things I would add is I think that, you know, a lot of times if you don't know us, uh, you could look at and you just look up a record. It's not indicative of how much enjoyment we get each and every day about being around each other. Um, and our challenge moving forward will be to continue not to make it about results because it's not always about winning. We want to win. Make no mistake about that. But very few people understand how to win. And our total focus is to help these young men become the best leaders they can be. If we can do that, they're going to graduate. They're going to get better at basketball, which is going to move them towards winning. Uh, and they're going to understand what it's like to go in a community and serve. You know, and yesterday in practice, um, I had a dilemma. I like starting seniors. I, I like that. And 
uh, because seniors are special. You don't see that a lot in college basketball anymore. Um, so I was going to talk to Keyshawn and Junior about, you know, who would be willing to let Tyler start and you come off the bench. And um, I just happened to get to him first, and it, it was like a three and a half, four second conversation. He jumped all over. No, I want to do that. And so that's leadership from him, willing to sacrifice for the good of a teammate. That's him um, making a teammate better. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure if I'd have got to Keyshawn, he'd have probably said the same thing. They'd have probably gotten to a wrestling match or a thumb, thumb, whatever, to try to figure it out. Um, but for me as a coach and a guy that has a chance to you know, have a say so on how we put this thing together, those are the type of human beings we want here. Those are the type of guys that um, you know, you want to be around on a daily basis representing this school, representing this basketball program. And I really believe beyond a shadow of that, those are the type of guys that get better. Talent and experience always let you down. If you don't have the right DNA, if you're not tough, resilient, hardworking, selfless, willing to sacrifice, it's just not going to matter. We've all been around a great player that always made it about himself. He wouldn't be happy unless he's getting all the shots or if he's starting and playing all the minutes. Um, those guys always let you down. They don't, you don't enjoy it. They, they are a rainy day, and we don't have that here. Uh, this is really enjoyable, and everybody's gotten a chance to be a part of this. And, and, and tonight, like I said before, this was a team win. Uh, I don't know we'd have won this basketball game early in the year, um, but these guys were, they're, they're all in it. And it's just scratching the surface. We're, we're, we got a chance to go someplace. And um, that's gonna be a transformational experience for